members of the faith, this is my husband, Bill Stearns. My name is Kern. I grew up in Mexico, Maine, in a conservative family, in a conservative church. So, I was going to be conservative until Bill's and my younger sister told us that he is gay. The new seat is not the right to It took a while to adjust, but after much reading, praying, and meeting with other parents of gay children, I did adjust. I now say, I once was blind, but now I see. Thank you. Bill and I were very happy when my son Alan and his partner Austin, who live here in Maine also, announced nine years ago that they were going to have a lifetime commitment ceremony. With that announcement, it really did home that we truly wanted them to have the same opportunities as our others had had, especially the opportunity to love and be loved openly with the blessing of not only their family, but our society. Bill and I have made every effort to nurture and love our children equally. We have no favorites. We never, ever want any of them to feel less privileged, less loved than the others. Two of our offspring chose to marry, and the law allowed them to. But our youngest does not, is not, allowed to marry his partner. So, he and Austin chose to have a commitment ceremony, conducted by an ordained minister. They remain committed. Opponents of marriage equality keep claiming that allowing same-sex couples to join a marriage would be a threat to the institution of marriage. Bill and I have been married nearly 50 years. We perceive no threat. On the contrary, given the excellent people skills and loving natures of so many gay relations, we have no doubt that their marriages will be exemplary. Here in the United States, we long ago abolished marriage laws that discriminated against race. It is now time to abolish marriage laws that discriminate against sex. Since I have a few moments left, I can't be just one more note. Fifty years ago, the mother of one of your committee members, Representative Pryor, agreed to support bills in my marriage by being my bridesmaid. I now urge Representative Brian and other members of the committee to support LD 2010 Thank you.